The owners of All Star Coney Island here in Howell say they fully understand the dangers of COVID-19 and they're taking many steps to keep staff and customers safe. But at the same time, they say their livelihood and the livelihoods of many other restaurants are at stake. And it's the reason they continue to remain open. We're doing the right thing and that, that we can't like dictate our decisions based out of fear or you know fear that they're going to take our our food license from us. All Star Coney Island owner Jim Fillmore tells us giving people a place to sit down and eat during the pandemic is something he's proud to do. His door is reopened for dine in service December 11th, despite the governor's restrictions that were reinstated to keep COVID rates down. Restrictions now extended again through January 15th. We saw a lot of Coney's it's Coney Island, but uh, you know, a ton of, uh, you know, French toast and brunch type food sitting spaced out socially doesn't messed up. I do feel very safe. Customer Alan Chevella oh. says his decision to bring his family for dinner helps keep this diner in business and he hopes they won't face any fines or discipline with 30 employees. This staple in the community for 18 years says they simply can't afford to close. We're not trying to ignore all the rules or pretend that that this isn't, uh, you know, it's not a real virus or anything like that. If they don't open up, they will lose their businesses. And many businesses, if they lose their business, they'll lose everything, including the house they live in. The state is aware of All Star Coney Island's indoor dining, but so far, no action has been taken against them. We've reached out for more comment, but so far, haven't heard back. Making the case politicians haven't had to sacrifice their salaries, Chevella now hopes this diner will inspire others to reopen safely. I really hope more businesses have the courage to open up. Everybody has to operate safely, and as you can see inside of this establishment, people are operating safely. Now, the owners of this restaurant say they are hopeful that by doing this, they'll encourage other businesses to also open up responsibly. They say since they've done this, they've received phone calls from other restaurant owners talking about possibly doing the same. From Howell, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News.